Good afternoon guys, it's Harry here from Tech Media Fusion. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I've been getting quite a lot of requests about doing a, a YouTube video on what's in my dock. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these videos normally, but uh, um, you know, if I get a request to do something then that's what's most important and that's what I'm going to do. Whether it's on Tech Media Fusion or my YouTube channel here, if I'm asked to do something by the people that are watching then I'm going to do it. Uh, so this is the video uh it's on my macbook pro so this is the dock in my macbook pro not my imac or my macbook Air or anything like that so i'll just get stuck straight into this here we'll start from the left work our way across as you're looking at the screen um finder that's really pretty self-explanatory uh launch pad this just gives you quick access to anybody that uh, has been under a rock for the past couple of years this just gives you um, instant access to all the applications that are on your system. Uh, actually, I shouldn't have said that because I know you know Linux users or Windows users who have no interest in Mac may not know that. So, and that's absolutely fine. Um, mail. Now, this is Apple's own mail for anybody that doesn't know that. I have four different email accounts. I've got Google Hotmail, my BT Internet account, and of course, I've got my .Mac account. Uh, I just have all of those four being fed into this one kind of mail server, so to speak. Uh, it just makes everything so much more simpler. I like the format of it as well. I prefer it over um, some of the other ones that are out there, and uh, it's just the best for me. FaceTime. I don't at the at the minute. I don't really use it quite a lot, but um, I'm sure that's going to change within the next week or so because my father phoned me up at uh, the beginning of the week. Uh, they have no technology whatsoever in their house other than a TV and a phone, but I've managed to persuade him to get an iPad. So he asked me if I could order him one online and one from a sister who lives down in London uh, with her husband. And my brother has just bought one as well. He lives over in Northern Ireland. So hopefully uh, in the next week or so, I'll be using this quite a lot and uh, being able to keep up to date with my mum and dad, my brother and my sister. Uh, and the kids will be able to do that as well because we don't get to see them that much because we, we live quite a, a distance apart. Um, and just Cloud, this is a really fantastic uh, back cloud backup service. Uh, it's really reasonably priced. For the package I'm with, I think it's $14.99 a month or $9.99 a month. I could be wrong. It might even be less than that. Uh, you're allowed two computers to back up to the cloud with external hard drives attached to them as well they'll do that uh, in this day and age i just think that if you've got valuable information you know whether it be videos or photographs or anything like that that you double back up would you would you have and it's best to have it on a cloud because you know if anything happens to an external drive or cds or anything like that then you've always got that backup on the cloud on a server that's being looked after somewhere else so I did do a write-up actually on Tech Media Fusion, and I listed the top five, in my opinion, of cloud, you know, backup services. So if you want to go across, have a look at those. I do recommend that you you definitely look into this, uh, and you see which one best suits you, whether it's budget or features. Um, this is a reader. This it's an RSS feed, uh, and. Out of all the other ones I've used and tried in the past, this one is the best. Now, I use this all the time. I use it on my, my laptop, my desktop, my iPad, and my phone. And anywhere I go, I'm reading this. Basically, all it does is, any websites that you like, that you frequent, um, you click the RSS feed that they have, and anytime they update it, it comes to you. So, in the case of Reader, sorry, just let me move this across. Um, as you can see here, you know, you can categorize things, you can put them into different categories. Um, and I've done, sorry, you know, Linux, Mac, Windows, Internet, Photography, News Broadcasters, General Technology, Gaming. And so I've got lots of different websites. And as soon as they change, as you can see here in the Gaming one, there's 13 updates. Uh, and that's been within the last half hour. Uh, same as uh, Linux here, there's been five updates and that's coming from Linux today and uh, LX or Linux user, news, whatever. Uh, Windows, there's been quite a lot of updates in the last half hour. PC Pro, V3, 
and win info. So I use this all the time. I love the layout, it's really simple to use. Uh, these are the two web browsers that I use, Safari and Google. I do have Firefox and Opera, and Opera but I don't really use those that often. Uh, App Store, iTunes. Now I don't use my iTunes on my MacBook Pro. I normally, because um, I have a two terabyte drive which is dedicated to the iTunes and the, my iTunes folder is in that and it's connected to the iMac. So anybody that's in the house that's watching something on their, you know, their iPad or the kids have got Apple TVs in their bedrooms as well. So it, it all just feeds into that from the one place and I, and I prefer keeping it like that. Twitter, you know, I use Twitter all the time. Uh, Photoshop. Adobe Illustrator and Adobe InDesign. These are the three most ones that I use out of that suite. Now, these two especially, Photoshop and Illustrator, uh, I use them every single day. InDesign, not so much, but I'm trying to teach myself a little bit more about InDesign. Um, it's basically Adobe's version of Microsoft um, Publisher. Uh, Apple's iBooks Author. Now, actually, I'm actually doing a project on this, okay? So, and hopefully, once I've finished that, I'll be able to um, publish it in the iBook store, but um, I'll, I've got a couple of people that I would like to read it before and you know tell me whether they think it's crap or whether they think it's good and depending on that I'll be publishing it in the iBook store. Aperture, use this all the time. I've, I still use iPhoto but I tend to use Aperture for more um, photo editing that type of thing because I have a decent camera it's a Nikon D5000 and I am getting uh, hopefully going to get a Canon uh, one of the the more professional end ones I've got quite a lot of lenses for my Nikon as well so I'm you know I do take quite a lot of photographs and edit them here uh, Final Cut Pro Motion now I got these whenever the day came out on the App Store I know a lot of people weren't happy with them especially the the professionals that use them every day but for me it was much better than the previous one because it was much easier and much more simple to use. So, um, I've you I start you know this for me took over iMovie, and uh, Motion was this was the first time I really used it because uh, it was so easy to use and I, I just love using it and playing about with it. I've been getting quite a lot of the last couple of videos I made. Some of the effects that are in it, they've come from this Final Cut Pro that you can get in the app stores. Because a lot of people have been asking me about that, uh, and this is where it's come from, guys. Minecraft, my son plays this all the time. I absolutely hate this game. It drives me nuts. Um, my son loves it, and it's because of this game that he started teaching himself Java and uh, Python. Um, and he, you know, he wants to. Uh, build up a, a server for himself and let other people come in and play on that world and and he, he's forever drawing designs on it and stuff like that but I hate it because they update it like nearly every two weeks and when they do that then all these hundreds of different mods that people have also made for it, they also have to update it and it and so he's always bringing it to me and saying you know dad can you put this mod on or can you update it and, can, and for the Mac it, for some reason it just doesn't work that well on the Mac or, or at least I can't get it to work that well. Text editor, you know, that's just a, a like WordPad on the uh, Microsoft, so I'm, I'm using that all the time just to scribble down some notes. Evernote, I love this app. I think it's one of the best apps that was ever brought out in the App Store. Uh, if you know, if I'm anywhere and I have my phone or my iPad with me and I've got an idea about you know an article or a video I'll write it down and then when I come home it's it's there on the laptop so I love Evernote use that all the time Bain that's just like a word processor it's uh it's it's really quite simple it's cut down and it's it basically it it does what it says on the package you know it's a word processor pages I use pages all the time I know I have Microsoft Word here but that's for my wife we had to go out and buy Microsoft Office for the Mac because she uses it more at work and uh, when she was at college uh, and for some reason she can't get her head around pages uh, system preferences and QuickTime and that's it guys that's what's in my dock on my MacBook Pro um, thanks very much for watching this video if you want you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus and there's lots of other social networking and social bookmarking sites that I'm uh, part of the links will be down below this video for Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus. Also, if you want to, to know what's going on, uh, where else I go to in social networking sites, go across the Tech Media Fusion. There'll be a link down below for that as well. 
uh, and you can have a little look around there and see if there's anything that interests you and likewise guys you know I've been asked to do this video if there's anything else that you would like me to do or write about over in tech media fusion or fuse news or fuse sport then by all means let me know and i will certainly get around to doing it thanks very much guys look forward to seeing you all again in the next video bye